why heartbreak could be a good thing. And most time it often is a good thing for a man is because most of us was never taught the red pill. Most of us was never taught female nature. You know, a lot of us may not have had fathers in their lives. Some people may have had fathers in their life, but their father didn't know red pill or female nature as well. Their father was beta. So a lot of people had to learn from experience because experience is best teacher, right? So what you have to realize is this is made to make you, not break you. It's really there to make you stronger. Heartbreak I'm, I'm talking about. Heartbreak is there to make you stronger because if you was able to get your heart, break in the, heart broke in the first place, it means nine times out of ten, you wasn't fully aware of the situation. For example, let's say you dated a cheater. Right. Now, I'm not blaming you for being cheated on, because at the end of the day, it's never our fault for being cheated on. In my, in my opinion, you know, people always say shit like, oh, well, you wasn't doing this. You wasn't doing that. But plain and simple, I feel like this. As me and any women, if you feel the need to cheat, you could just leave. So I feel like anyone who cheats got to be held accountable. I hold people accountable, men and women who cheat, because I personally feel like. If you feel the need to cheat, then you already lost because at the end of the day, you're still weak too because you could have just left. But that's another video. I already got a video on that. Back to what I was saying. What we have to realize is it's a chance to grow and become better because it are, excuse me, it is things that we were doing. We were behaving beta. We was doing things, but that's not excusing her cheating. It's just simply stating the fact that this is an opportunity to dead those things, right? This is the beautiful part about heartbreak to me. Is you can look back and go, damn, I messed up right here. I messed up right here. I messed up right here. I was too sensitive. I was too emotional. And you can improve that. But if you wouldn't have never went through that heartbreak, you would have never known to even improve that in the first place. Maybe you would have, but nine times out of ten, that's why you will see people who are in 10, 15, 20 year marriages and they still behave and how they behaved at the beginning. So, for example, if you see a man who lets his wife runs the relationship, lets his girlfriend runs the run the relationship, nine times out of 10 through the whole relationship, you never see any change. You don't really see a dude let his girl run the relationship and then he switch up. Most times he let her run it until the relationship comes to an end or if they stay together, he just let her run it. Right. So what it happens, oh, excuse me, what it allows you to do when you go through heartbreak is it allows you to sit back, reobserve, and adjust, right? You get to sit back and go, okay, well, okay, okay, I could see, I, I should have did this different. Okay, I could have did this different. Think it's with anything in life. That's with sports. That's with fucking finances. That's with a new job, a new career. Anytime you go through a situation, you can always sit back and learn and take something from it. And it's the same with heartbreak. Get out your feelings. If you if you freshly just went through heartbreak or you're going through heartbreak, this video is especially for you. Use it as an opportunity to become your better alpha self. Use it as an opportunity to become more masculine, to become more of an alpha male. That's all. And look back on all the beta things you did. And make adjustments and work towards it. It's going to take time, but work towards it. Look at the emotional things you may have done. Look at the, the feminine things you may have done. You know, look at the, um, the beta things you may have done. And replace that beta for the next relationship, if you choose to do a relationship again, with alpha habits. Replace that feminine with masculine habits. Replace them emotional with logical habits, right? That's it. It's all about how you view things and your perspective on life. Because at the end of the day, once you have had, once you have gotten your heart broken, you can't redo. It's no do overs. We know this. Like once someone breaks your heart, you can't hop in the time machine, go back and undo it. That heartbreak will always be there. But what you take out of that heartbreak is up to you. Are you going to become bitter? Are you going to spend the rest of your life reflecting on the past, being a little bitch? Or are you going to be a man about it and say, look, this is a real opportunity to boss up. This is a real opportunity to grow as a man, because that's what I did for my first heartbreak. 
I looked at things and I said, man, even though I don't justify getting done dirty, I still do acknowledge beta things and weak things that I did that I can tune up now. Being single, right? And that's a beautiful thing. And I wanted to bring that to you as well for guys who have went through heartbreak or is currently going through heartbreak. I wanted to give you that knowledge as well to make you realize, man, it's you are actually in a beautiful position. You're in a great position right now, King, because you are in a position of growth. It's like when you take a test, right? And the teacher fails you. But then, you know, you have the teachers who label everything you got wrong with with the red marker or the red pen. They let you know the right answer. They right. They give you like the cheat sheet. So they label if you thought the answer was two, they cross that out and the answer was actually four. And then, you know, what I'm saying they'll end up letting you take that home as a study guy. That's a beautiful thing, because now you really got the answers right in front of you. You have the, the format of how to break it down. She done wrote down how she got the answer. It's a cheat sheet. That's what heartbreak is. It's a cheat sheet to go, damn, okay. I have a cheat sheet of all the things I did wrong. All the insecure things. Maybe I got maybe you got cheated on before you, you know, before you left, right? Let's say you dealt with a woman and she cheated on you and you stayed with her. And then long haul, long behold, she cheated on you again and it got worse and worse. And now you're single and now you're heartbroken. Now you can go back to that cheat sheet and go. Damn, next time, I will never allow a woman to cheat on me. The first time a woman cheat on me, I'm gone. Next time, I will never allow a woman to talk to me disrespectfully. I shouldn't have put up with that. But now I know next time, I'm gone. Or at least I'm going to check her right away to let her know if this ever happens again, I'm gone. So you have the cheat sheet through your heartbreak because your heartbreak is experiences. And what they say, experience is the best teacher. Let this be your motivation, King. Use this time to reflect on the positive, not the negative, and grow from it. Learn from it. And you're going to be all right, man. Best wishes. Stay positive. Don't forget to smack that motherfucking, that's a punch, but you know, don't forget to punch or smack that like button for me. Also, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop down in the comment section what you would like for me to discuss next. If you need advice, don't be afraid to share it with the brotherhood. Till next time, Alpha Sincere. Salute.